Hi guys, welcome back to another video. Today we're taking a look at how to use a GoPro 10 as a webcam or conference call cam. This thing is a really capable web camera. It's not just an action camera and it looks fantastic. For instance, this whole video is gonna be recorded on the GoPro in OBS. So this is what it looks like. I'm using an external audio source, so just note that. But this is what the GoPro 10 looks like, hooked up via USB-C to the MacBook Pro. For comparison, let me just go over to the FaceTime cam on the MacBook Pro. Now you can see quite clearly that this is not a great picture. Let's switch back. I've made a few popular videos on using the GoPro as a webcam in the past. So over the last couple of years, I've learned a few tips and tricks and I've got some troubleshooting answers for you. A lot of questions in those videos I've previously done, so I'll try and answer those questions for you. There's a few things this camera doesn't work in, so we'll touch on that in this video. So first of all, it's really simple. You have to go to GoPro's website and download the software for Mac and PC. Now, if you're doing it on PC, Windows, currently GoPro haven't got a software that is compatible with Windows 11. You can't use it with Windows 11 at the moment, only Windows 10. With Mac, you covered, you can use it on whatever operating system that you've got. At the moment, I'm using Monterey, so it's working perfectly. You'll need a good quality USB-C cable to plug it into the computer and then into the GoPro, and that connects it. Once you've downloaded the software, once you plug it in, it connects to the webcam automatically. One tip is to take the battery out of the GoPro. With these doors on the new GoPros, you can actually twist the door off, take it off, take the battery out, and then plug it in via USB-C. That powers the camera, that powers the GoPro via the computer lead, and then it is uh, connected and it's active as a webcam. Taking the battery out also stops the GoPro from overheating if you're live streaming with this, for example, for long periods of time. Now this camera has no auto turn off, so it will just stay as a static camera, a really good quality web camera. So yeah, if you take the battery out, it will stop it overheating. That is one tip for you. My second pro tip is to turn off the hyper smooth in the camera before you turn it on and connect it to the computer. This stops a possible audio delay that you get with some computers. I've done it in the past where I've had hyper smooth turned on and there's been a lot of one or maybe two second delay on the audio. So if you turn that off, then it does help with any audio delay you might get. Now, like I mentioned before, it's not compatible with Windows 11 at the moment. So if you have got Windows 11, then I'm afraid this is going to work for you. They're hopefully going to be doing an update very soon. So hopefully that will be coming in the next few months. Now with OBS, there is one problem when you connect a new video capture device. If you select the resolution to high instead of the uh, 1280 by 720, which is the standard with this, this is a 1080p webcam but if you have it set on high then you will encounter a black screen sometimes with some OBS programs depends on what sort of version you've got of OBS I think so just make sure that you check it go through the different resolutions and that should solve that particular problem also, if you're using this, Safari doesn't support virtual webcams. So if you're going onto something like StreamYards via the Safari Explorer, then it won't work. You have to use something like Chrome if you're having any problems with using it in StreamYard or any sort of virtual webcam software online. You might have to use a Chrome browser rather than Safari if you're using it on Mac. Another couple of things is I'd recommend updating the GoPro before you plug into the computer to make sure the GoPro is just up to date with all the latest software. And also the GoPro webcam software that you download from GoPro's website only works currently on the GoPro 8, 9 and 10 because that's got the USB-C connection. If you've got older GoPros from 7 backwards, then you have to watch my video up there. Very popular video, my most popular video of all time that I explain how to use the GoPro with a HDMI capture card and that will connect it and you can use it like that as a webcam. That really works really well, but you do have some limitations with that as well. If you've got any more questions, please let me know in the comments down below. I'll try my best to answer as many as I can. While you're down there, please subscribe. We do lots more videos like this, simple ones and tech reviews on a weekly basis. I've got some really exciting stuff to review. You can't see in the background, it's covered, but there's a huge, huge product coming in the next video, maybe the one after, but stay tuned for that. So subscribe and press the bell so you don't miss any uploads. But apart from that, it's a really good thing to use the GoPro. If you've got one, 
as a web camera. It's a lot better quality as we've seen as the HDMI FaceTime cam. There are some very good webcams out there. You can of course use your mirrorless camera as a webcam as well which gives you a lot better quality but these things are very expensive if you've got a, a gopro just lying around anyway and you use it for action sports or vlogging or anything like that you can use it as a webcam and this is how it's a really good option so i hope it helped let me know in the comments down below if you've got any more questions if you want to know anything else about webcams i'll try and answer them as best i can but until next time this is me zander round signing out that was a bit of a cheesy sign out but kind of liked it anyway we'll see you on the next one bye guys <laughs>